Northern Virginia, police are sounding the alarm over dangerous drugs. Not too long ago, we told you about counterfeit Percocet pills laced with fentanyl. Two teens died and police across the region say this problem is only getting worse. Here's Colby Satterfield with a closer look at the numbers and the concerns. Tonight, a new warning spreading across the Northern Virginia region over suspected teenage overdoses of fentanyl laced Percocet. One week after two teens in Prince William County died from a suspected overdose of the counterfeit pills, Alexandria police are issuing their own warning. 12 opioid overdoses were reported in Alexandria in April, six of the incidents involving minors. Anytime that we see that amount in such a short time, and then you throw in uh, juveniles being involved, uh, it makes us very, very concerned. Captain Monica Lyle with the Alexandria Police Department says most cases involve either smoking or ingesting a little blue pill. It's made to look like Percocet, but laced with fentanyl. Today, Prince William County Police announcing a seizure of over 5,000 suspected counterfeit fentanyl laced Percocet pills, or Perc 30. The drug bust leading to the arrest of four people, all but one with possession with intent to distribute. While Prince William County Police say they can't connect those specific drugs to the deaths of two teens, they are not ruling it out, nor the possibility the drugs made it out of the county as neighboring police departments issue new and dire warnings. It's life or death right now. If they ingest the fentanyl, there's a good likelihood they're going to overdose. And without anything uh, that's nearby as far as like Narcan or something that can counteract the effects of the fentanyl, uh, there's a, a high likelihood that kids or adults even could die. Captain Lyle warns these drugs are in our schools and students need to be aware of that. She warns parents to have a various serious talk with their kids. Experts recommend parents make time for casual conversations early and often and not just once and that drugs only prescribed by a doctor and filled by a pharmacist should be taken. Leslie, yeah, they may not be comfortable conversations, but they are necessary. Colby, thank you.